Oh, pound fight. my Seven. goodness. Two Six. Let's hear some noise. Four, three, Kitten Mittens two, versus one, Milk Tank. Fight. Do not let the cute names fight. of these robots fuel, fool you. These are two destructive powerhouses in this division. <laughs> Kitten Mittens, uh, Kitten Mittens is an unconventional walker, kinetic walker style robot. And Milk Tank is just memes and magic in a fighting robot. It is awesome. So Kitten Mittens, as you can see, it tilts its head and it's able to use the gyroscopic force of its weapon to walk across <laughs> the bot. It looks you, silly. You don't want to be on the business end of that thing. But that weapon, I mean, it's powerful enough to move that oh! robot. Hey, oh, oh no! Oh, oh my god! We got a fire. Oh no! And that wow. is how Milk Tank fights should go. Glitter and fire everywhere in the box. They Someone put it out before it curdles! They're laughing too hard to tap out. They're not even tapping out, they're laughing too hard. Oh my goodness! That's why I love this team. They're here to have a good time. Oh, uh, Milk Tank is now creme brulee. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. Show motion. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. All right, God. <laughs> that is insult to injury there, show motion. Yeah, that cow is cooked. Look at this thing. Who likes show their motion. Well done. Mm, thank you, Kyle. Knock I was out. going in for the kill. <laughs> Round of applause. Ooh, yes, for great. Milk Tank. One of the most beloved robots here today in the field. Let's watch this instant replay. Now, one of the big things to watch for with Kitten Mittens is this incredibly heavy disc on this walker. I, I really love how menacing it looks as it's kind of uh, very slowly coming across the box. And um, it's like serpentine the way that yeah. it will approach you. So you really, it's hard to plan for like where that hit's gonna come in. Yeah. Copperhead uh, team member Luke Quintal builds Kitten Mittens and um, he's had success with gyro walkers, uh, both at this weight class and at the Beatles. And um, you can see why. I mean, one hit KO. Um, this is really the kind of energy that he's delivering here today. And oh my gosh, I love super slow motion. Oh, it's the best. Good mobility though today from Milk Tank. I yeah. mean, like, look at this. A little and bit then, of weapon on weapon action. Let me see those. Now a close up oh. of those. Oh! <laughs> of those deadly udders that are uh, that are jam packed with with sparkles and glitter. And there yeah. goes the second glitter, and then that led to the fire. Wow. And then, uh, I am looking right now at the team behind Milk Tank. They are so overjoyed to be watching their <laughs> bot get destroyed right now. Both of them can we get are a, laughing can we get a hysterically. Shot uh, wow. Just, love it. Just love it. Just love it. They're here to have a good time, and I got to tell you, it's uh, a magic that they're in the finals to begin with, and I'm just so happy to have them here. Let's go over to Kate and see if we can we can get oh, the, the Look at that. Everybody in this audience is absolutely loving this. Oh, that bot is just burning right out. So we'll see how they do. All right, let's go over to Katie and talk to the team. Yeah, ladies, this is a whole lot of fun. I think we're having a great time watching what's happening in the cage, but more watching your two reactions. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we're not always real competitive, so we try and make up for it, but at least being entertaining. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, going out with the glitter bomb right before the fire, we couldn't ask for anything better. So we're just going for it. Well, what do you think of the name Cream Brulee? Oh, yeah. Well, hmm. <laughs> a lot of the judges. We were all like last time we were on fire, they're like steaks on the grill, you know, well done, you know, all, <laughs> all of it. Uh, yeah. Like a boot, like a boot. I don't know how you guys like your steak, your milk, or anything like that, gentlemen, but uh, we got some suggestions over here for you. Yeah, we're the people to <laughs> yeah. talk to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the, of the glitter udders. Yeah. You saw that the first one popped, but it, they have a they're backup. About they the have another udders. udders. I don't know. That's our favorite part. We, we can't float at a good time, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for bringing a lot of joy to us today, not only in the cage, but of course, you're, you're the, the enthusiasm that you are bringing here to the entire experience. So, Milk uh, tank, everybody! Yeah.
buy yourself some Milk Tank merch. Please right. do. Please yeah. do. Yeah. All right, we've got both boxes uh, loaded up, box one and box two. Uh, which one are we going to go to first? Looks like this is going to be cage one. Star Child versus Tothic. Star Child uh, driven by Brandon Zelinski, the captain of uh, P1 on BattleBots. And Tothic Eight, uh, driven by one seven, of the uh, Team six, Ribot uh, team five, members here. Four, three, two, one. Christian fight. Cooper Robots Team Ribot. Fight. Star Child is this large wheeled uh, white overhead attack robot. Incredibly popular oh. because. Oh. oh! Wow. Wow. So, this is the interesting thing about the weapon blade on Star Child. It is so thin. Um, it's actually built for one pound robot action. It actually cuts into the material on a lot of these larger bots and just sticks. All right, we're going to pause this match so we can go in there and separate these two robots. Tothic needs a toothpick. Yeah, so Tothic is also an overhead attack bot. It's a more traditional saw-style robot. It's designed to use those long forks to get under its opponent, pin them against the wall, and come down with that saw. Uh, that is not the case with Star Child. They're not there to pin you. They are going to take their shots where they can, and uh, obviously you can see that weapon does devastating damage, but unfortunately also gets a little sticky. One of the big improvements that we've seen on Star Child are these metal cleats. Yeah, um, now, so smart. These cleats um, are, um, you know, it, it's fixing one of the large, one of the big problems that we see with a big wheeled plastic robot, and that there isn't a lot of uh, room on the wheel for traction. Now we've seen uh, people try to put um, bicycle tire, you know, basically on uh, on these wheels, but yep. these these cleats are really really very effective. All right. We've got a cage side, Katie, uh, you know, uh, let us know what, what you're seeing over there. Yeah, as you can see, right, if we kind of get inside this cage here, you can see that there's a, quite a lot of torque, a lot of bend, a lot of, can you us, bring us up to speed of what's actually happening? Uh, so I have a, like essentially an ant weight spinning weapon on an arm. And so I can kind of cheat and whip into people really, really fast. So. And I can also hit the top of robots, which they're not usually armored against. So I get stuck in carbon fiber, and he has a carbon fiber top. So unfortunate. I was going to say it's unfortunate for sure. And is there any kind of repercussions to you for that? No, not now. So hopefully I don't get banned. <laughs> <laughs> That's on him. Uh, All right. One um, of the interesting things about the unstick rules here at Norwalk Havoc is if your bot gets damaged during the unstick, that's on you. That is not on the uh, on the removal stream here. All right, so we're going to restart this match here. No matter what condition your bot in, it is in after they unstick you. And we are back. And you can see the weapons on both of these bots getting up to speed now. Tothic attempting to get some control over Starchild by going at the side of those wheels and pushing them around. Although we are not seeing that weapon spin. Yeah, that's true. Tothic's weapon is uh, pretty stationary there. I wonder if that got damaged in that last hit. Ooh. Such an interesting pan design in the front there. It's it's, uh, it's at the end of long forks, so it's a little bit of uh, you know the best of both worlds. Yeah, like a keep away stick. You really can keep your opponent at arm's length while you come down with that weapon on them. Oof. Tothic's really adjusted their strategy to make sure that that weapon from Star Child can't come down on top of them as easily. You can see they're kind of doing this. S pattern drive. So they hit the wheels before they get into the center between the wheels. It's really effective. It's, you know, it's very, even with a little bit of the extra studs that are on those wheels, it's, it's really hard to turn such a large wheel bot like yeah. that and, and track a small zippy little bot like you see from Tothic. One minute left on the clock. Nice hit there from Star Child. And now you see Tothic attempting to get some aggressive tapping in with that weapon, but the actual weapon itself is not functioning on Tothic. 
the spinner on that arm is not functional. The arm itself working just fine. You know, when you're in a position like this, like Tothic, and your weapon's not working, you need to work as hard as you can to build up those aggression points, build up, you know, those control points, and it's just difficult to do. It's like, uh, you know, uh, around a bot like Star Child, it's just, it's so hard to corral, it's so hard to push around, it's just, it's, it, it moves and envelops around you. Star Child is really the first ever of this kind of design. 10 seconds left. It's a thwack bot design with a spinner on the end of the thwack. Four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. Wow, good match. You can see Brandon clearly happy with his performance here. Yeah, this one will go to the judges. All right. Now, as the judges are deliberating, they're going to be putting their scores into, uh, into their judging criteria. You're going to very shortly see here. This was a close match. Yeah, Luke, I was going to say, what were your thoughts on that match? I mean, uh, you know, when you take a look at, at Star Child, it is damage. Like, yeah. uh, it is a very aggressive robot. It's difficult to plan for. It's hard to, like, really hit anything substantial on that robot. And it's hard to, you know, continue to survive so many of these hits. All right. Uh, well, it looks like we've got... We got yes. Beulah. No, that's... Oh, no, it'll, it'll update as they're updating the... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Peter. This is a brand new graphic. We got to give him, give, him a little bit of, give him a little bit of space. I think Peter's still thinking about Peter's it. Peter's still thinking about it. He's still deliberating. Ooh, unanimous judge's decision for Star Child and Brandon Zielinski. Yeah. And All you right. can see damage is what won that for them there. Uh, on over to Katie, who's uh, here at Cage Side with the winner, Brandon.